This is the land of luck. It's so wonderful to think outside of what we know and to entertain the thoughts that there is more and that there is bigger and that there is deeper and there is wider. We don't live in a world without storytelling. And that's the thing that keeps the world going. Films can expand what's possible and expand the imagination and can open people's hearts and minds. Luck, it's incredibly uplifting and it's incredibly positive. Is he thoughtful or what? And the concept just seemed utterly bananas. Luck is all about Sam, the unluckiest girl in the world. Oh! Uh, sorry to bother you. Oh! How did he get on your who journeys to the never-before-seen land of luck and discovers really what good luck is all about. The land of luck is in charge of creating and randomly distributing luck, both good and bad, to the human world. The luck you create today could change a life tomorrow. It's magical. It's the land of luck, but it's organized. Now drop your pennies and move along. See you, Captain. Do you like jokes? Only the funny ones, Bob. <laughs> right. Bob is this very mischievous, not entirely professional worker in the land of luck. Hey, Bob. Everything okay? I just, uh, stretching my legs. <laughs> Okie dokie. Sam accidentally goes through the portal with Bob. Ah! What kind of a crazy talking cat are you? A lucky Scottish one, obviously. Several things are very critical. One is to keep good luck and bad luck separated. The tiniest amount of bad luck can shut down our entire operation. Another is human beings cannot set foot in the land of luck. What could go wrong? I love animation as a way of storytelling because it is so collaborative. And then you get to sort of create the world. You actually create the soul of the characters. <gasps> Jeff's a unicorn? <laughs> Oh, you surprised my heart to stop. The very, very first week on the movie, when I was trying, we were trying to sort of think about what should the story be, I asked the artists in the art department and all the story artists to just literally, for three days, come up with drawings of good luck creatures and bad luck creatures based on research we had done on sort of international lucky icons from all over the world, along with lucky numbers, lucky colors. We had done a huge amount of research, and that was their first assignment. Just go crazy. <sighs> Luck is actually sort of an abstract idea, right? So the biggest challenge was coming up with a world that represented that idea. Luck is very universal, but very different in different cultures. So immediately the leprechaun came to mind, as well as the four-leaf clovers and the pig. The land of luck, it's a world of synchronicity. It's just really fun to watch. There's a choreography to it. If it wasn't Lucky Place, it would actually be quite treacherous. And it is for Sam. Just how unlucky are you? Yeah, super duper. This is an animated film, but these actors invested 500% on what is their character. Sam is wonderfully determined, and she is, I think, extremely optimistic. OK, universe, I think you're pretty tough. Her luck hinders her, Ugh. but nevertheless, she persists. Eva just really gets to the heart of that character. Take that, universe! And she's utterly delightful, and you root for her so much. I found an actual lucky penny. And what did I do? I flushed it down the toilet! <gasps> you did what? You flushed my lucky penny down the toilet! Simon is a legend. He's a comedic genius, and he brings so much life to Bob. What manner of crazy human are you? To play the sort of guide into that world, it just felt like a gift. Bob knows the land of luck inside out. He has good ideas. Together, they create the perfect team with determination and execution. We lucky ladies of stature ought to stick together, don't you think? Jane Fonda as a dragon, when they told me, I was like, perfect casting, check mark, I love you. I mean, it's not every day you get a chance to voice a dragon <laughs> named Babe. <laughs> I just thought that was so much fun. Ah, it's the captain! I love animation, so anytime someone asks me if I want to do an animation, I say yes. I love Whoopi. She's a fantastic actor and has a brilliant <laughs> comedic sensibility as well. One funny. You've not really seen a black leprechaun before. I haven't, and I've met many. 
This is one of those kind of films where you have to watch it once, just to take it in, and then you can sort of concentrate on the story. Sam goes on this wonderful journey of discovering that just because she's clumsy or things break or things don't work out, it doesn't mean that it's her fault. Bad luck led me to the luckiest thing in the world. Or was it good luck? Love is the luckiest thing in the world. So I really wanted to tell that story that everybody can feel the love and her forever family can look different. It's just a lovely story about the importance of friendship and family, and it's a rip-roaring adventure as well. I like the idea that we're changing hearts and minds through this. The important message is don't give up. Don't ever give up, because you don't know what the future might hold. This movie brings humanity into the idea of making mistakes. You can't plan everything to go well, and when you fall, you pick yourself up again. That's life.